Hey, what's up? It's Noah Neves. Um, yeah, today I'm doing uh, starting new stuff. We're gonna do uh, a series like we're gonna do a tutorial every week. We're gonna try to do one every Tuesday. This is uh, how to mix a hook. We're gonna look at how to mix. Got a couple of announcements. I got if you're in Hawaii, we're gonna be coming to Hawaii September 19th. We're gonna be having the release party for um, Vision Funds, which is the next, uh, the first out to iTunes project that I'm putting out right now. And um, you can get all the info and go check out the event and stuff down below. And make sure you check that out and make sure you get it September 19th. And then also, okay. Yeah, also from now on if you ever wanted to ask any questions or um anything about mixing um if you're looking for somebody to mix for you, you can um go down below to the Facebook page and just go through there now and then just hit me up on there because it'll be easier to contact me. So, yeah. And now we're going to start on this. Okay, so you have the hook and this is the hook right here that sufficient funds. And then um Okay, let's get nice zoomed in. So you have the hook and you have the right and the left. I'll usually have the left I like that. You should want to look something like that. This is the first part of the hook, this red part, and then this blue part's the second part. Second part of the hook. It's kinda like a yeah, and then um, some ad libs. Then you have my friend Eli's part, then two um, backgrounds for that singing, and then this is like a copy of this part up here, but just like again over here. And um, yeah, I'll let you hear it right now. Okay, so that's the hook right there. Um, there's two parts of this hook. There's this first part that I'm doing, and then there's the second part that Eli's doing. Um, for the most of this video, we're just gonna focus on this first part because whatever you learn here, you can pretty much do for all hooks. It's just you just kind of gotta think, but think about it the same way. Okay, so okay, so first start off by putting in a loop, so you get that one part. you want to do is make sure you mix the main hook louder like really loud and strong this right here and the um the background vocals you want to mix a little bit further back in the mix yeah kind of want the hook to be a little the the main hook to be a little more dry and how you want to do this you want to put this on the loop and just play it and then just keep adjusting everything and then keep adjusting the faders until you get the the right the gains and shit so yeah this just how i feel this just how i feel when i'm up inside that Yeah, the um, one thing I um, understand too is that when you push the vocals to the sides that they go down in volume so you can bring them up and crank up the compressor or whatever. But you always want to make sure that um, it's 
it sounds good relative to the main hook. You want the main hook to be the main thing, but you still you can that you can have the background vocals to be really strong in the mix too, which is I've been doing a lot recently, and um, just um, down. Okay. On balance and go across stereo power or anything else, but you also make sure that you have them loud enough in the in this mix so that you hear them and they sound good. Rather than sometimes like if something doesn't sound as good, I might just keep put it, like bringing it down and tucking it away. And if it's so low that you're not even hearing it, it's really no point in the mix. You should just get rid of it and put something like just have everything in the mix that was really supposed to be there and have it nice and loud and everything that you can hear, but still balanced. Yeah, especially relative to the beat. Um, yeah. You want it to be really nice and loud, and you want it to like be catchy. And um, as far as mixing, you want it to just uh, like flow with. The hook might be different in composition order or whatever. Like is an instrumental, it might be different than what's in the the verse. So you're probably gonna you're always gonna be mixing it different. So yeah, you always want to be mixing it. You have to like yeah, mix each track. Yeah, relative to the instrument and the track that you're you're doing it over. Yeah, as far as reverb and delay and stuff, okay, for the main hook, you want to make sure You want to keep the vocal tight. You don't want it to be too um, muddy or anything. You want to be able to hear it. You want it nice and clear too. That's one thing you always want to remember. And the more reverb and delay that you put on, the harder it is to understand. Blah blah. Okay. The background vocals you can kind of experiment with more a little bit. Sometimes I'll put more stuff. Sometimes I'll put different things. Background vocals you kind of do whatever. Um, this is experiment, but. Um, that's like some of the stuff, yeah. So yeah, like not too much, but you want to like what I'll do. Yeah, I'll just be like seriously sitting down and then like put it on loop. I want to then just keep even reverb and like some things you want to listen like to like reverb is like when you're listening to the reverb and the vocal like when you're you want it enough so like the vocal sounds nice but what you want to try to do is just like crank your send up and then like crank it up and hear it sounds like too much and then it's not yeah and then you just keep bringing it back until it's until it's perfect and um you also want it to fill up the space in the track too because you don't want it to be too weak and like that try the track and, and the reverb really adds like the push and stuff especially when it comes to like the headroom and stuff so everything sounds nice and loud yeah but um okay and as far as meters like okay I'll be looking at the meters meters and compare it to but I'll look at the meters and compare them to each other and like what I'll do if I can't really hear it good too I'll, I'll like at least make like I'll le you at least want the background vocals around the same area for like a nice power, strong hook but it depends if you're not trying to do a strong hook like if you're trying to make it sound different then of course it's gonna sound different but like when I'm talking about strong and balanced across the stuff you want the background vocals to be just as loud as each other and you want um, the hook to be a little bit yeah might be mixing different or yeah because the main uh, it's actually lower in db than the um background vocals and um that's because like i was telling you earlier as you push them out to the side you need to you bring it up a little bit so there's that also since it's in the center you don't need to it doesn't need to be as loud so you can bring it down and you can kind of tuck it away under the beat and um yeah you want to be you want to just like you can really experiment with the sides and when you when you pat it hard left and right and just really see what sounds good and they say don't mix with headphones but I mix with headphones and I mix with the speakers I just mix with whatever I just mix and I just get it to sound good and it's the thing that's good at mixing with headphones is when you mix with headphones you can really sound um, 
headphones. Go get some like cheap, like ten dollar headphones. Um, I got like cost K O S S. Like it's like from you can get it from Walgreens. But just use Shetty headphones, turn your volume down really low, and then just listen to the sounds and then mix it from. And you'll not piss everybody off by playing loud music all the time. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, go mix with headphones. And, yeah, so there's parts of the hook. So, there's that, like I was saying, there's parts of the hooks. Um, some hooks might be a little more complex, some not as complex. You have this part, and then you have the second part. Yeah, I'll just go over it briefly. And um, make sure they're all working together and hitting the idea of the song. The idea is the main thing, and the hook is a really, like the number one thing that hits the idea of the song. And so you need to make sure your hook is sounding good and snapping. And like you also need to make sure that like it's telling the idea, the message you're trying to tell. You need a killer song to begin. Also, make sure you listen to it over and over, beginning to end, and make sure the whole hook is fluent and it goes from verse to hook fluently so like when you're going from your verse it goes right into the hook and then it goes after the hook it goes right into the next verse and everything sounds good and it goes smooth make sure because that's some part that's usually a part of mess up on so yeah you want to make sure you get that make sure it flow and flow is everything hooks need to be catchy you need to keep it you need to have it stick in people's head and how you do that is just keep it simple don't be talking a lot of bullshit just keep it original Talk about your life, you know what I mean? Just regular shit, like, and, um, yeah, hooks need to hook the people. I suggest, like, just, fi like, one thing I do is, like, I'll just seriously just sometimes just sit down and write hooks. So just, like, get beats and just play beats and just, like, write hooks. And you might not use it, but, like, sometimes you'll find a really good hook. And the thing is, like, the hook will fucking, like, give you all the inspiration and the ideas for the verse and for the rest of the song. Because, like, the hook is the main shit, so you already have that instead of... Instead of doing it kind of backwards, when which I always usually do is, is like do the verse first because you want to rap and you do all this, but then actually you should start with the hook and just have the real good idea and the song first, and then when you do that, then you everything else. Okay, Tuesday tutorial thing I'm doing, so make sure you comment down below and Facebook page and comment and check out all the shit over there. I'm gonna be dropping the album. Gonna be doing a lot of tutorials and all kind of shit. Gonna be teaching a lot of stuff that I've been learning because I've been working on this album. It was a lot of fun and I learned a lot. And it's funny because you do a lot of studying and looking on YouTube and the internet. But the number one thing that I learned is definitely the most that I learned from this. You learn the most. So that's the number one thing I'm gonna tell everybody is just mix. Like the thing is funny. I like broke these speakers and I ran out these speakers and um. I didn't have a cord for it, so I was kind of out of them for like three months and retarded because I could have just got a speed. So I was just lazy. But yeah, for like the whole time I was mixing with these $10 headphones and from that I actually learned a lot of shit about like getting the songs loud enough but keeping them um, um, check out that, check out the Facebook, check out everything down below in the description. Make sure you in my room that's the most recent mixtape that's also down there um and uh, make sure you like and subscribe and share and blah 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 and do all that shit um so yeah thanks thanks a lot for checking out this tutorial make you doing one once again make sure you guys uh go down below and put what you guys want to see and uh, i'll see what i can do all right it's no need take it easy